Not too long ago, I glued up some wood into 12 pentagons. Then I turned that into a ball, and it, because of the design, it looked like a soccer ball. I used polycrylic for the finish, and it really got a nice finish on it. I was asked a few questions on that, like how hard is it to use polycrylic? Is it durable? Does it dry fast? Well, this is what I use. It's Minwax polycrylic. I use the gloss. And I'm going to put it on this piece of black locust to show you how easy it is to do. They also sell a sanding sealer. And I have that divided up from a larger container right now to use it. So I'm going to get at least two coats of sanding sealer on there. I'll show you how the first one goes on. I'll probably put the other ones on off camera. And when I come back, we'll put the polycrylic on it. And I like to soak it in really good on that first coat. That's really all I do is I wipe it on like a like you would a wipe on poly. And I don't have gloves on. This stuff is doesn't have an odor. It's I don't think it's all that bad. And I forgot to put my gloves on. So I get it on like that and I like to I don't need to do it on this one, but I'll show you when I come back to the polycrylic. I like to finish it off with the lathe running really slow. Okay, so there's the first coat. I'll get another one like that, lightly sand it. I'll be back and we'll put the first coat of polycrylic on it. Okay, this has been 30 or 40 minutes and it feels pretty dry. And one way to make sure is if, if you get dust coming off instead of instead of filling the sandpaper you know it's sandable. It's just gonna go with the grain and just knocking it down and not necessarily trying to get my final finish. You can see the dust right there. So literally uh, on a day like today I was able to sand that in a half an hour. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to take a dry cloth, clean that off, and I have some of the polycrylic in this container. Pretty much the same thing. The consistency is just a little bit different. And I'm going to put it on the same. I'll put just a little bit more onto it. Now I have my lathe in low range. I'm just going to run it like this and smooth it out. This is just how I do it. I don't know if it's the best way, but it works for me. That's it. I look for dry spots or runs, and there are none. So we'll let that dry and come back and do it again. So this has not even been five minutes, and that actually is not wet feeling at all. At that point, I can actually start building it up. And I'm wiping so much off, I'm just putting a very thin layer on. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So that looks good. Looks nice and level. I don't see any dry spots or runs. And it's actually time to go cook dinner, so I'll let this sit and dry really good. And then we'll maybe hit it with 500 grit. Do the same thing. I'm able to wipe on as many as two or even three coats like this. And then let it dry really good and then sand it. Well, it's been 15 minutes. I went in the house, I come back out, and this feels dry enough to work. 
This time I'm going to use the real fine scotch brite. That feels real nice. Okay. Put a couple more coats on the same way and maybe that'll be good. I probably have six or seven coats wiped on and I'll show you what I do for the last coat. I use the Scotch Brite and I'll just take and smooth it out with that. And you know it's nice and dry when your scotch bright starts getting white dust on it. Okay, pretty nice finish. Wipe any dust off of it. And if you want to go a little bit further, then you can use some abrasive paste. And I'll use the axe today. So I'm not going to go into detail on how to use this abrasive paste. I just like using it on top of almost all finishes. I think it gives it that final leveling that a finish really requires to get a really deep looking finish. And I do like using it on most of my finishes. Okay, that should do it. Let me get it out. and. Show you what it looks like. So that's that's the kind of finish you can get using polycrylic. I think it's quite acceptable. Not associated with them at all. I just like the finish and wanted to show you how I put it on. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I try to answer them all. Share the video around if you think it might help others. If you're a current subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I try to put out a new video every Friday on wood turning. Thanks again, and until the next time, See you later.